supply chain crunch put a pause on construction of a new traffic signal in Henderson. But things are now back on track at Stephanie and the 215. Here's Fox 5's Kevin Smith. Today's cone dump takes me down here to Henderson. I was here back in August to get an update here on this project. It's the Stephanie Street Road Capacity Improvement Project to access the westbound 215. Well, this project's been grounded to a halt since August because of supply chain issues, but the cones are back, work is starting, and pretty soon this new traffic light will be working. Traffic signal parts are particularly difficult. There's a short list of approved materials for traffic signals and some of those are difficult to get. We've heard it over and over again. Supply chain issues affecting just about every aspect of our lives from toilet paper, chips for cars and computers, and now traffic signal parts. In spite of all these delays, the city of Henderson says the project will finish on schedule since they got a bit of a head start. When you did that story in the summer, we were probably, uh, we were more than two months ahead of schedule. They hope to be finished in October. The contract completion date, uh, it's Christmas Eve. That'll be a nice Christmas gift for drivers as the project calls for the repaving and restriping of Stephanie Street from the railroad tracks near American Pacific Drive down to the Beltway, adding a new fourth lane heading southbound, approaching the 215 to improve traffic flows, making the transition to the freeway. Now here's some holiday advice from the city. If there's something you really, really, really want, you better order it right now. But. Um... I want traffic signal parts for Christmas, so I may be disappointed. City went on to tell the cones on this new traffic light that you see right now should be turned on maybe as early as Thanksgiving, which will add some capacity improvements here for southbound Stephanie to the westbound 215. Definitely something that we can give thanks for. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.